Good morning, good morning. My eyes are watering because I just got done with my COVID test. Sure enough, the guy was like, didn't you just test on Wednesday? And I was like, I'm on set this weekend. And he was like, don't they? Uh, he was like, don't they do like on-site testing? And I was like, well, you see, I was like, this is an independent project. It's not like a Georgia film project. So, um, and he was like, ah, I see. And so I said, I tested on Wednesday to make sure that from last weekend filming, I was okay. So I could give them more than just an hour's worth of heads up to be like, ha ha, something's wrong. So anyway, um, yes. Um, but yeah, I am heading back home uh but specifically i'm heading to the Publix so i can um hopefully pick up my prescription and um get milk but if for some reason my prescription isn't ready then i will just plan to because i think it's on my way i'm pretty sure like the direction that i go in oh this is just the intro sorry get ready because this is your six of daily vlogging Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that the direction I have to go anyway to start to drive to Nashville, I passed the Publix and they told me they would make a note that it would be ready before noon. So it'll be like 11 when I get to the Publix. So I don't know, I plan on maybe I can go up to the pharmacy and be like, hey, I'm in here like grabbing milk, uh, but I didn't know if there was any way, like is it done or could it be done soon while I'm here? Like we'll see. Prescription has been acquired. Now I'm just going to get milk and then I am out of here. Although now I'm looking at the makeup brushes because the one the girl was using on set was really great. And I wonder if that's what I should be using to put on foundation instead of the one that I have. Alrighty, so in addition to milk and the prescription, I got myself a new foundation brush because the one I use isn't even actually a brush. It's like a sponge thing and I don't think I'm, it's gross and I probably should be, whatever. Anyway, um, and then I also got myself an eyelash curler, not for set this time, but I've been kind of thinking about getting one. Um, so thankfully, and then I got the milk, um, but the eyelash curler. So this is the brush that I got because it's specifically for like foundation. So I was like, all right, I'll trust their marketing. Um, and then the eyelash curler is, you know, it's just the cheapest eyelash curler that they had. Um, Cause you know, anyway, so I'm heading home. It is 1109. I will be making brownies and putting them in the oven ASAP and then, finishing up packing, making sure everything is good to go. And then while the brownies are in the oven slash when they come out of the oven and are cooling before I have to leave, I should be able to sit on the couch and read a little bit. And so Nola can lay on my lap if she wants and all that stuff. So that'll be good. I memorized my lines last night very quickly, not very quickly, but I was able to memorize them quickly. So I'll be able to look them over when I'm on set, but I feel much better than I did last weekend about being like, oh my God, I am not as prepared as I would well, like to be. As soon as I went to leave the house, it started raining, but that's okay. Once again, I almost forgot about the time difference, but I didn't. So I am leaving at 3.05 here, which is 2.05 there. And I am headed out. Do, 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 do. Into, to the road. Hopefully there won't be too bad of traffic. So I got gas and I was leaving I was leaving the gas station and it was one of those like divided highways, right? And so there's space in the middle of the road where you can cross one part of the highway and wait there until the other one is clear, right? So there was a car in front of me, that car went, and then there was a car that came through the highway. So then I went. So both of us are sitting in the middle next to each other, not like one behind the other, next to each other, waiting for space on the other side of the highway. So I see that the lane closest to us is going to be clear in a second and the person next to me is not moving and so I go to move ahead and then all of a sudden they are like majorly honking at me and I was like well, I'm going to keep going because it's it's clear and so I I went everything was fine I didn't cut anyone off or whatever and literally I was watching in my rearview mirror and I saw two other opportunities where one of the especially the lane closest you don't have to cross another lane of traffic the lane was clear and the person was not going and I was like dude I was like what are you doing like you, you have time like you have to if you wait for 
both to be clear, you're going to be sitting there for, for so long, like both of the two lanes of traffic going this way. It's good. You have to go when you can. I was like, like, I always try to like rack, rack my brain for like the rules that I learned in driver's ed. And I'm like, did I, did I break a lot? Like I'm confused. But, um, we, they're about to shoot a scene where, um, one of the characters gets pushed in the pool. Very excited. <laughs> I'm staying in here though to watch our stuff and eat my sandwich. Um, but yeah, they I'm excited. are trying to shoot at the pool and the pool technically closes at 10. And of course there's, you know, you can't like close off the pool obviously, but they had like, no one was in the pool and now a family like just came down to the pool so they don't see the entire thing so the family like can be in the pool it's just the question of like oh it's so difficult <laughs> i have a feeling too i i'm supposed to be offset at like 10 30. i don't know if that's gonna happen tonight because my scenes can be moved my one scene can be moved to a different location these other ones can't like they really can't <laughs> so i have to um i i think i'm just i'm just gonna be chilling for a lot of today secrets it is 12 52 i am done on set my friend cole has already gone to bed of course um, but i have the code to get in so i'm heading to his it went really well um had to do one of the scenes I was nervous about because it's just a reaction shot to a big, big event that's happening. And I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to do it. But Cody, our director, was very much like, oh no, don't worry. Like, if it wasn't what I wanted, I would tell you. Which is Alrighty, good. so I've made it to Cole's apartment. I'm gonna end this here so I'm not vlogging while I'm inside. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. On um, social media is in the description. Love you all.